Welcome to the next video of our complete engine rebuild guide. In this one we are splitting the engine. In today's video we will take a look at what tools we need to complete this job, a step-by-step -step guide on how to complete it, and in the end we will do a hardware roundup to make sure that we do not lose any of our precious hardware. To make following the content easier you can pause this video at any moment. That said, let's take a look at what tools we need. For this job, we need an engine case splitting tool. This tool can be used on most late 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s Vespa large frame engines without electric starter. But because we are dealing with an electric starter engine, we only need two of these fastening bolts. We also need this piece as it helps us push apart the case from the crankshaft. But because we're only using two of these fasteners, we are replacing one of them as they don't align with a clamp. This way you don't need to buy two splitters, you can just use the old one. There isn't that much space to work with, so we're using smaller tools. We're using a small ratchet driver, a small 11 millimeter socket, and an extension. In case the engine is stubborn, we also need a mallet, an old flathead screwdriver, and a long round screwdriver that we're gonna use to crank down the tool. With our tools ready, let's take a look at the step-by-step -step guide on how to get this job done. Before splitting the engine, it is held together at 12 different points underneath the stator and on the outside of the engine. 11 of them reachable from the flywheel side and one reachable from the clutch side of the engine. Loosen and remove the four nuts and washers underneath the stator around the crankshaft and remove the nuts, washers and bolts that are sliding through from the other side around the outside of the crankcase. Once you have them all out, remove and loosen the nut and bolt that is reachable from the clutch side underneath the shifter box. This is where the socket extension comes in handy. Mount the crankcase splitting tool around the threads used for the flywheel fan cover. As we are dealing with an engine with an electric starter, we can only use the bottom two holes. The top one does not line up with the tool because the crankcase is larger to accommodate the electric starter. As a solution for this, we are using a simple clamp to clamp the tool to the crankcase. Tighten down the pushing bolt onto the crankshaft and use the screwdriver to gently pry it apart. The one place where the crankcase usually gets stuck is at the bottom pin under located underneath the shifter box. There is a little piece of aluminum you can use as a tapping point to gently tap the pin out of the crankcase. You want the cases to split apart evenly, so sometimes you need to back up to get it all even you will feel the crankcase pop apart and at that point you can simply pull one crankcase half off of the other one. Discard the old gasket. Before we put away the hardware, let's make sure we have everything. We are left with the cable holder. One bolt is different from the others. This is LML specific. And then we have five short engine case bolts with their washers and their nuts. One middle length and one long bolt with their washers and their nuts. And then there's the four washers and nuts from underneath the stator. LML motors don't use lock washers. This is a thing that we're gonna fix in reassembly. Thank you for watching. Click here to get to the next video in this series. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you like this, you can support us on Patreon. The link is in the description down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.